Strategic hustling on the court. Welcome back to Street Ball Strategies. So this topic came up because I recently reviewed the movie White Men Can't Jump for the basketball movie review section of this channel. So one of my favorite basketball movies of all time and one of the reasons for me starting my career and this channel. But it also reminded me of the potential strategy for using hustling as a tool for building your legacy. And usually when I say hustling what I mean is giving energy and effort out on the court, meaning to hustle when you play. But for those of you who may not know or understand what hustling means in this case, in this video, for this topic, when I say hustling, what I mean is by tricking or fooling your opponent into thinking that you're not as good of a basketball player as you really are so that they underestimate you or they don't take you seriously or they don't play as hard against you as they could have and because they do that you end up beating them in a game. I don't endorse or encourage hustling as a general rule when it comes to building your legacy out here because I have experience with both hustling players and being hustled myself. Mostly because my decades of experience out here has taught me that it's much better to just play your game and be very obvious about it. By just showing people exactly who you are and how you play and laying your entire game out on the line by playing as hard as you can out here. And then if you win or lose, at least you win or lose honestly. But there is a certain situation or scenario where I could see hustling not being right and not being necessary, but potentially being appropriate. And remember, this channel is for players who are not as talented as most of the players out here. So this situation, this scenario may be more common than you realize. And that is when you are on the court and you're trying to play with a group of players who just won't give you a chance to prove yourself with them. Or if they do give you that chance, no matter how well you play, they don't ever take you seriously. Or if they do give you a chance, no matter how well you play, they never really appreciate or respect you as a serious player out here on the court. That happens fairly regularly, and my usual advice for that would just be just endure. Just stay out here, be out here, make your presence known, and continue to make yourself available to play. And then when you play, play well. And when you're building a legacy, when you're building a reputation against players out here, there's usually three ways to make an impression on them so that they will then remember you and you can start to build your legacy with them in their mind. One is to play smartly so you're building a mental impression with them. So you are smart with the ball, you play smart, you don't make turnovers, you make good plays, smart plays with the ball. You make smart plays on defense, you get steals, you get interceptions. By doing that, you build a mental impression with them that you are a mentally smart basketball player. But let's say that they themselves are also smart players. If they themselves are smart players, then no matter how smart and intelligent you play, you may not be able to build an impression with them because it doesn't impress them because they themselves are also smart players. Well, my go-to always is to be a physical player because even if you don't yet have those mental skills, those smarts to play intelligent out here on the court, you can always play physical. You can always give full effort. You can chase after loose balls. You can go after every rebound. You can move your feet and dig in on defense and really show off your ability to be a physical player. When you do that, in theory, you're leaving a physical impression on them, showing them that you are a physical player who will give full effort in every game. But again, if they themselves are physical players, if they play hard as well every game, that may not impress them either. So if you can't leave a physical impression or a mental impression on them, then really at that point, all you have left is to make an emotional impression upon them. And hustling is one of the ways you could do that, but you have to understand there's not a whole lot of upside 
too hustling if that's the tool you try to use to leave an emotional oppression upon them. Because there are a few possible outcomes when you try to leave an emotional impression on a player when you hustle them. The worst possible reasonable outcome that could happen is you try to hustle someone and you lose anyway and they don't even realize that you were trying to hustle them. That means that you played so poorly that not only did you lose, but you played so bad that they didn't even realize you were trying to hustle them. In that case, you leave no impression on those players because why should they remember you? You lost and they didn't even realize the strategy you were trying to use against them, so now they're not going to remember you at all. Thus, you leave no impression, thus there is no reputation or legacy to build. The second worst outcome is you try to hustle them, you lose, but they do realize you were trying to hustle them. The reason that's a problem is because now not only do you come off as a loser to them, but because they realize you were trying to fool them, trying to trick them, trying to deceive them, now you seem like a deceptive loser to them. Yeah, yeah, you tried to hustle, this white boy can play, still wasn't good enough. Man, what are we gonna <laughs> chill, chill play? So you leave an impression on them, but it's not one that is favorable to you or your possible legacy. The third outcome is that you do hustle them, you're successful, and you beat them. Well, guys don't like that. The storybook or Hollywood ending to you hustling somebody would be that, yes, they become upset because they lost, but ultimately they respect you because that's how much winning means to you and they realize that, and they're like, oh, you remind me of a young me, so hungry to win, and thus they respect you. <laughs> I sure that's a possibility that that might happen, but usually in my experience, that's not the way it goes. Because when you get hustled, it feels like you got cheated. Now, yes, technically hustling is not cheating. It's not cheating at all, in fact. If you got hustled, it's because you underestimated your opponent and they beat you because of it. It's your own fault. That's completely true, but nevertheless, it still feels like you got cheated when you get hustled. So if you successfully hustle somebody, they're not going to be happy. They're going to look at you as being deceitful. So yes, you leave the impression that you won and you beat them, but you also leave the impression that you kind of deceive them in order to do that. Also think about what happens when you lose a game when you think you should have won. And that is, as soon as the game is over, you want to run it back. Because you're upset, you thought you should have won, so as soon as you lose that game, you want to play again immediately so you can wrong that right. Well, if you hustle somebody, they're going to want to play again right now. If they can easily beat you in that second game because now they're actually trying and they're not underestimating you anymore, you got a cheap win against them, so why should they remember you beyond beating you in that second game? But let's say in the second game, you're able to hold your own and you're still able to beat them for a second consecutive time. They're still not going to be happy. Either way, they're going to be upset. If they beat you in that second game, they're going to be upset that you wasted their time by hustling them in the first place. And if you win again in the second game, now when they're playing as hard as they can and they're no longer underestimating you and they're playing as hard as they can from the very beginning of that second game, they're still going to be upset because they're going to be thinking, well, why did you hustle me in the first place if you could beat me outright to begin with? So with those being the possible outcomes of hustling people, you can see that there's not a whole lot of upside to doing it and it should be at your critical discretion when and if you choose to hustle an opponent. So as you can see, there's mostly downside to strategic hustling on the court. Mainly because guys don't like feeling deceived. They don't like feeling like they were cheated. Yes, sometimes you can start to build respect with players by doing that, but doing so is a long-term process. Because by hustling them and by making that emotional impression on them, they also have to sort of realize that you kind of had no choice and you only hustled them as a last resort 
because you wanted to earn their respect and they weren't giving you the opportunity to do that. But even when you do get their attention, now they're going to see you as being deceitful even if there is a little bit of respect there. And it's going to take time and repetition in order for you to build that respect and to prove to them that you were only deceitful in that one specific situation just to get their attention so that they would give you a chance. And now, from now on, they can now see that you are a real player, a respectful player, a non-deceitful player overall. But to do that, it takes time and it takes experience and it takes repetition. And so hustling in that respect is a long-term tool to use if you're going to employ it out here. It's not something that's going to happen immediately where you immediately get someone's respect because you hustled them. You're going to have to earn and build up that respect over time because initially when they first played against you and gave you that chance and you earned their attention, you deceived them. So as I've said, hustling should be a last resort option that you use to get someone's attention out here when they deny it to you over and over again. Also, I want to mention that I am vehemently against playing basketball for money and hustling people for money. I'm completely against that. I completely discourage playing basketball for money. I believe it should only be played for reputation and respect and love of the game and bringing money and gambling into that whole scenario I think is disrespectful and should never be why you play this game. So thank you guys for watching. If this video was informative, if it was helpful, a thumbs up would be great and if you could hit that subscribe button as well that would really help me out. Thankfully, at least hopefully, spring is coming and so I can get back to the normal videos that I prefer making out here when I'm not absolutely freezing. So make sure you hit that bell so you're notified of when those videos start rolling out again. And I will see you guys next Saturday.